all right so now to create a simple email automation workflow you only need one easy to use tool which is systemy.io all right so this is the only marketing software you need to grow and manage your emails so let me show you how to use this beautiful tool to create a simple email automation workflow you will need to create your free account on the software so i'm going to be leaving the link down in the video description for easy access so if you use that link to sign up you'd also get access to managing over 2000 emails which means that sending bulk emails won't be a problem for you now once you have your account created you should have a new dashboard that looks like this so to create your automation all you need to do is you want to click on this automation icon right here and please i need you to pay attention to everything i will be seeing right from this very moment as you can see when i click on it i have two drop downs here which is the rules and workflow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be clicking on workflow okay and once you do that you see that we have nothing right here okay so to create our own we have to go ahead and click on create and now once you click on create you'd also be having this tab here which require you to give your workflow a name so for me please i'm just going to give this a name right here and i also want you to do the same so once you've been able to impute the name right here i'll go ahead and click on save so you see that we have that already saved now so for us to be able to edit this automation to our preference okay i'm going to click on the three dot icon right here and i'll go ahead and click on edit now you see we are making progress already now this button here says create your first trigger okay so in a bit i'm going to be talking about this so i want you to follow me i'm going to come back here and talk to you more enlighten you more about how to create your first trigger so quickly let's leave that for now and let's move over to the next one now i want you to click on this plus icon right here so once you click on this okay you see that we have some displays right here which contains actions um decisions and delays okay so all of this would make sense in the a bit just watch me and follow my exact steps so i'm gonna go ahead and click on action and this means that what should happen when a person completes our first trigger okay so you remember the first trigger i'm going to come back to talk about a bit so this one here the action right here means what should basically happen once that person actually takes that first trigger on so it's like a clickbait so once they do once they perform an action what should happen next so you can see that we have quite a number of actions to take okay so for me i'm going to choose send an email so i'm going to choose send an email so once a person completes an action maybe sign up for my newsletter or sign up from my landing page an email will be sent to them almost instantly now we have to create a new email that should be sent so i'll go ahead and click on create a new email right here i'm going to give this a subject so i'm just going to um use this one right here good so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and now you see that we have a page right here and we can go ahead and type in anything we want right here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go ahead and just type in something basically just to show you guys how it works so um, i think this is looking good already now you can see this place here where we have the sender name right here you want to fill this up yourself so let's say you want to change the sender name maybe you want to use something different from your real name you can go ahead and um, use that in this place here and also if you come down a little bit here you see this box here which says attachment box okay so for those of you who basically want to attach maybe a pdf maybe a lead magnet or maybe something of important maybe you have an important file you'd like to share with people you can go ahead and use this attachment box right here and i'm going to go ahead and select the file from my computer and that's it you can see it's easy for you to attach any document any file bit of video whatsoever thing you can basically attach that to your email right here on systemme.io so you can see that the file has already been added okay now i want you to come down a little bit to the personalization tab right here so if you want to personalize your emails more you can do that by adding all these variables right here so let's say i want to add your first name um to the email i'm basically writing i'm just going to copy all of these right so instead of me doing it manually many of you don't know how to do it but you, you, you guys know how to do it manually but i tell you manually might be really really stressful so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and copy this variable here which is the first name and i'm going to paste it wherever i want to have it so i can have it right here and also i can have that right here so it's going to be hello and the person's first name do you understand that it's going to be hello and the person's first name so anywhere you want to include the person's first name you have to impute this variable there 
so now once you have everything all completed you want to save your changes and now let's talk about this one here which is the first trigger button so you want to click on this and right here you want to choose your trigger so a trigger simply means what your audience should do before this automation should get started do you want them to open up any of your previous email or maybe enroll in your community or maybe make a sale on your behalf you just need to select something that people would need to do for the automation to get started so for me i'm going to choose funnel form subscribe so it means that once they subscribe from my selected opt-in page the automation will start working so those of you who basically know a page where you have to impute your email address and of and you know maybe your name or basically your phone number and almost instantly you get to receive a mail from somebody this is how it works so what you need to do is you want to select what should happen what should that person do what should your audience do okay for this automation to get started so they have a lot of things here that you can use a lot of triggers here you can basically go with any of the trigger but for me i'm going with this one which means that once somebody basically imputes his name or the email address okay fine they're going to be receiving an email from me so right now you need to choose that opt-in form right here so the opt-in form you want them to basically subscribe on for them to get the automation working so for me i have quite a um you know a number of um you know you know opt-in page here designed for this um for the purpose of this video right so so i'm going to choose this one right here and i'm going to click on create and now you see that we have that already created so once anyone imputes his or her email address into my selected opt-in form the automation starts immediately so you can basically do all of these to get your automation working properly fine and also if you choose to add any delays okay you can go ahead and do that so you can also add delays to your automation which means that the exact time you want step two to comment so let's say you want it to be after two minutes they get in and get an email from you or maybe after three minutes they get an email from you or maybe after a few seconds they get an email from you so this is actually what you need to do so picking a delay is going to make everything look like you're sending it to them individually but whereas you're sending it on autopilot so you don't have to be around you don't have to be be on decks you can be sleeping and this would run all by itself this is the whole process here so basically the sign up from my own form okay the automatic waits for five minutes before getting started so once they impute their name email address and everything the automation would wait for five minutes before it sends my email to them so once you've been able to complete all the process right here i want you to just take your time and play around the software because the more you do the better you get at it so i'm going to click on exit okay and once done please don't forget to activate automation right here many of you just do it and you forget to activate it so you're going to click on this one here okay and you want to confirm that you have your automation already active so please confirm this and that's it so anybody who now goes to that form and puts in an email address and a phone number or maybe a name depends on you right would get to receive an email from you so if you want to learn how to grow and manage an email list this video right here is going to show you how to get thousands of emails basically without spending a penny so please guys if you enjoyed this video smash the like button and go watch this video here where i show you how to get thousands of emails without paying a penny so thank you so much and i'll see you in that video Bye.